Good morning. Welcome back. It's Amanda. Hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by and watch this video today. As you can tell, or you're fixing to tell, I'm fixing to go into that freezer. That's the one I've been working on with this pantry challenge. And I'm going to try to find me some blueberries because I'm going to be making a blueberry Amish cake today. It's a recipe I got. Well, not I didn't get. My daughter got a long time ago when I was homeschooling my I homeschooled my kids and I did home ec with them I made them do home ec and she had to come up with recipes and this is one she found and it's absolutely amazing what's so good about it is that you don't have to put the blueberries in it it's good without the blueberries it's better with the blueberries but it only requires one egg and then all your pantry basics your flour your sugar your oil your egg cinnamon that's it and butter that's all this recipe calls for um, guys, simple things that we could have in our kitchen and make up homemade that are yummy goodness. So um, let's go into the freezer and see if I can find um, my blueberries. Um, it really hasn't changed much since the last time I showed it to you. Um, so, because I've actually been pulling stuff out of my larger freezer. But um, let's go in here and see if we can find some blueberries. Okay, so I'm opening this. Terrified stuff's going to fall out. <laughs> Okay, um, here we go. It's still the same. I'm seriously, you know what? I'm going to pull this pie out today. Get this out. I'm going to, actually, I'm going to pull this out for my grandkids today because they like eating pepperoni when they come. So, I'm going to pull that out for them. I'm going to pull this pie out and I'm going to bake it for dessert for this week. Let's go ahead and put this um, over here. Yeah, and then we're coming back over here. <sighs> Show you what's in there. The tomatoes, that is really what's on my next project, is getting these tomatoes done. Um, let's see where are we at. Peppers, butter, broccoli. Uh, this ice cream, by the way, is not mine. It's my daughter's. More peppers. Yeah. Here we go. Um, are these blueberries? Or light berries? Ha. Huh. They are the blueberries. Ow. Um, these are the blueberries. Let me go ahead and get them out. Y'all, I seriously need to get back to work on this. So I am going to be working with these blueberries today and making the blueberry Amish cake. Um, the recipe calls for two cups. I could probably get double out of this. I think I'll do the cake and then some muffins to put in Richard's lunch. I think that's where I'm going. So anyway, part of the freezer, pantry challenge, clean out. Going to be using these blueberries, so let's go ahead and get this recipe started. Okay guys, so I'm starting this recipe by adding a cup of sugar. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my mixer, y'all. Like I said, I'm loving this mixer. I don't know how I've gone without it for so long. And then I'm adding um, one egg, which is what's amazing about this recipe. Just one egg and a fourth a cup of oil. And I'm just going to take and cream and mix all these ingredients together. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm like ecstatic about this mixer. I've absolutely love it. I could do, you could do this by hand. I'm just taking advantage of using this as much as I can. And then I've got out my milk here, y'all. This milk is my favorite Gosner. Get it at Dollar Tree, um, all the time. Actually, they don't sell Gosner milk anymore. I haven't seen Gosner milk. It's, I think it's called pantry milk now in the carton, um, shelf-stable milk. I'm going to take that and add, add that half a cup to this once it's blended a little bit more. But if you guys got a favorite milk, I just prefer this because if I buy a gallon of milk, it's going to go to waste. It's not something that we keep around the house and I basically just use it only in recipes. So now I'm just putting this in there and mixing all of this together, trying to clean up my mess as much as I can. Yeah, y'all see my garbage can right there? Mm-hmm. I need to work on that. <laughs> Guys, you're going to get reality in here, seriously. So here we go, we're mixing all of this. Then I'm going to get a little bit of, it, it calls for a teaspoon of vanilla. I usually just measure it out. I get a cap full of vanilla. I think it's an imitation vanilla. Um, just putting the vanilla in there. Adds a little bit of flavor. Honestly, I've done it with the vanilla and without. I really can't taste the difference. I'm just going by what the recipe actually says on here. Um, the next thing I'm going to be adding to this is my flour. Two cups of self-rising flour that has been sifted. That's important. You need to make sure you've sifted this and gotten all of the um, 
what do you call it, all the, the bumps and all that stuff out of it, really makes a difference. And look out, I'm not going to add any more liquid to this. This is an extremely thick batter, which is going to help because it's going to hold those blueberries in when I put them in just a minute because these are frozen blueberries and usually blueberries that you put in a cake unless you've dusted them with um, flour they sink to the bottom but this batter is so thick even with frozen blueberries I can actually put them in and they don't sink and you'll see that at the end of the video um, how that works out so again mixing this up you're just going to mix these things accordingly this is two cups of the fresh blueberries y'all definitely trying my best to use these blueberries at this point I should have just taken the dough out the bowl out and folded the blueberries in but I went ahead and did like this because believe it or not it didn't crush the blueberries it should have crushed them like that but it didn't so now I'm just going to take this out and we're going to um, kind of scoop it out. And I want to show you just how thick, see how thick that batter is? Y'all, I need to work on my lighting. The glare is too bad. So let's go ahead and get started with putting this in the pan. So guys, all I'm going to do now is take my pan. And this is an 8 by 11. This is an 8 by 11. This does make, it's not a very big cake. It's not like a 9 by 13. But what, seriously, what I love about this recipe is that you don't use much eggs or oil or anything in its basic pantry recipe, um, basic pantry ingredients. So here's what it looks like. This is a very thick, it's not a dough, very thick batter, but trust me, it's, it is so amazing, especially when you get all these lovely blueberries in here. And y'all, this is one of the things that I need to start using up. I need to make some jelly. With these blueberries as well but this is another alternative you can also if you want to you can make like blueberry pan not pancakes but blueberry muffins with these they're very versatile i just prefer the cake you know it's like a coffee cake it's like i said this recipe my family has been making it my daughter found it in a cookbook when she was in high school and she was doing home ec i did home ec with my kids and I made them come up with recipes. And this is one that she found and she loved. And it's like her specialty. And she makes it better than I do. But anyway, we're going to get this, put this in here. And then we're going to go ahead and get started with the topping that goes on it. But like I said, one egg, a little bit of oil, butter, flour, sugar, basic pantry ingredients. Y'all, we need to keep on hand. So next, guys, we're going to just put the assemble, the topping that's going to go on this right here. You need a fourth a cup of softened butter. You sure it's really soft? That's about half a stick. It's a fourth. That sounds about right. A little bit more. Okay. To the butter, you're going to add a half a cup of sugar. And mine has kind of like gotten hard, so I kind of need to break some of these up. Push that in. Then you're going to add a third cup of flour and a half of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Um, my goodness, which one of these is a half? This is a half. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Ah, let's get in there, get in there, get in there. Okay, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Well, it looks like I threw actually more than a half a teaspoon in there. Then you're just going to take this and mix it up. It's going to be crumbly, and then we're going to put it all over this blueberry cake right here so the best way to do this if you don't have one of those pie cutters is to do it with your hands or to get a fork and mix it i just find it easier doing a fork so let me get all this mixed up y'all i absolutely love this i don't know why i don't make it more often which i'm going to be for the next few weeks because i got a lot of blueberries and you know, Lord willing, with this crazy weather we're having, my blueberries might start blooming early. That would be bad. Don't want my blueberries to start blooming early because the freeze will come along and mess them up. But I, we were blessed to have an, an, an enormous crop last year that is taking up a lot of space in my freezer and that I need to get to using. Now, while all of this, you're doing all this, make sure you're preheating preheating your oven to 350 degrees this is going to cook for 40 minutes or until a spoon in the middle not a spoon good night a knife in the middle comes out clean so i'm going to do now is take this and make sure i get this in frame you guys can see and i'm just going to take it and kind of like sprinkle it all over make sure i'm getting it good sprinkle this get the fork pull it over 
this this just reminds me of a very very moist very very moist um coffee cake is what it reminds me of and what's so amazing about it is it only requires one egg which is good right now you know with the egg situation going on here and it comes with simple pantry ingredients and it actually lasts quite a long time um, without getting stale which is like to me another plus but that's if it lasts that long so here's what it looks like there's a side view. Like I said, put this in the oven for at 350 for 40 minutes or until a knife or two toothpick in the middle comes out clean. So guys, here's the cake, the Amish blueberry cake. It is the next day because I was with my grandkids yesterday and didn't get finished this video. But here's what it looks like. And if you notice, I, were, I wrote the word no on it because if I didn't write the word no on it, this cake would not have been here this morning. I would have had to do another video and I would have been upset. But anyway, we're going to take this off. Make sure we get in frame. I'm going to show you just how absolutely moist this cake is. Give you a little detail on what it looks like. Mm. Here's a better view of it. Okay. You see that? And there's what it looks like on the inside. It's actually, I don't know if you can tell, it's very hard right there. So let's go ahead and take a knife. Go ahead and get a piece of it cut out. I'm telling you all this, for a cake that only calls for one egg, it's really amazing. It really is. It's extremely, extremely moist. Okay, I think that's about all I'll do. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and cut it like this. Seriously, if I hadn't put the word no on this cake, it would have been half gone this morning. People like getting into stuff at night. All right, let me go ahead and I'm going to pull out a piece right here. Hmm. Put it right here and show it to you what it looks like. Look at all that blueberry goodness. And it's a good thing with this kind of cake because the batter's so thick, all the blueberries don't sink to the bottom, which is a good thing. I know if you flour them, it'll keep them in there, but frozen ones aren't as good. Let's go ahead and show you the rest of this. So guys, here's the cake right here. It's what it looks like. You can see all that yummy goodness. So glad that those blueberries did not fall to the bottom like they usually do. But this batter is really thick. That's what makes it so good. It's especially thick considering it's only got one egg in it, you know. So taking a taste of it, absolutely good. I love how the crust, the topping, I don't know if you can tell, but that crust right here, the topping of it, it stays on. Mmm. God, this is so moist, so good. So hope this is something you guys can get out there and try cheap pantry ingredients well not cheap nothing's cheap no more but basic pantry ingredients only calls for one egg y'all that's a good thing and you know what i think i'm gonna try it with applesauce one time that might be an idea too i might try that in another video just to see if i can put applesauce in it instead of egg because we know the egg situation so anyway if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe share Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by. You guys have an amazing day, sweet Jesus. Thank you again. God bless.